what's going on guys Pinky Tech review here and today we're gonna show you how to actually flash clockwork modes without using computer to the Samsung Galaxy S2 GT i9100G and then how to increase the RAM of the GT i9100G2 into more RAM and more smooth now let's get uh first we obviously need to download a e zip file blazing kernel that you can find on the xda developer okay now let's go actually it's not sear now but you can actually go to the xda developer and the link will be in the description you will be able to download all kinds of a uh, kernel for the GTI 900G jelly bean and ice cream sandwich too now let's get on with scroll down and you can see supports dual booting complex same sourcing and real the description here and you can see more RAM original is 769 MB Blazing kernel can help you boost your RAM to 774 RAM, which is quite good, and make your phone smooth enough for you to run and can increase all those. Governor, you can also have several of custom things like like free. Now it will teach you how to. The instruction here you can see is to. First, you need to choose recovery type. You can choose either clockwork mode or the TWRP mode. Well, basically, I use the clockwork mode the most, so we're gonna go to clockwork mode and can go to. Now, you can choose the version of file that you want, and let's say I'm gonna download the newest version of Blazing Kernel version 6 clockwork mode. Now you direct to the link here. Now you just click download and your file will be downloaded. Just click begin download and your file will be begin downloaded. But I'm not gonna download it because I've already downloaded it. Now so you need to put a file on the rear of the SD card, that means put put it without any file. Let's say I put it just paste at your external SD card without anything. Now I can see it's blazing kernel mode. That is the new one. So first we need to go to reboot the phone, obviously. That's kind of like oh, just make sure you guys. Uh, I would like you to see the RAM of my S2 first. Now I can see the RAM. It's actually 769 MB. So let's see let's see what's happen after we flash the RAM. Okay. Oops. Long press the home but power button and just shut down device. And we can go to recovery mode. Go to recovery mode by pressing the power button, volume up button, and home button. Okay, now we're gonna go to apply update from external SD. Let's go to it and choose the blazing kernel CM6 mode. This one. Okay, now let's click install zip from SD card. It's currently installing it by using the kernel of this. You can also flash some variants of ROM, example like the MIUI ROM, which I did the video earlier, and many more, example like the remix version of the Galaxy S5 ROM, and many more guys. You can use it to do that kind of things too so we're gonna reboot system now and we'll be right back after it reboots alright let's read it to reboot now let's swap screen to unlock
Alright, let's go and check and see whether the RAM has increased now. Let's can see now it's really boost to the 774 MB of RAM. It's quite good enough for you to smooth in your device. And we're gonna install the app called the CP set CPU which can download from the Google Play. Where did I put that? Here. SD card and down in there it is. Set CPU. Oops, I never know it. Now make sure unknown sources enable it to install third party app. Just click install set CPU. Now open it. Now just click continue recommended or if you want you can choose the custom version of it. Alright after granting it now we're gonna go inside the set CPU and now setting it in safe things that and you can see the interactive here has more option you can say you have to go to hyper lazy pegasus and like free to now we're gonna go performance and boost it so performance I mean faster it now it's more smooth just click home button and let's go to clear memory yep guys all right that's all for today guys hope this video helped you and if you think this video is helpful we're gonna go give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and subscribe for more guys and have a good day